Hello everyone. Good day. Welcome to this beautiful day here today at the Markt in Delft for the Dut23 rollout. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Also all the people having lunch here that just were here, on, not on purpose. Thank you for joining us. I will just take it. Um, today is a very special day for us. Um, as a team, you reach certain goals. One of them is in January, where we design, uh, where we show our design of the car at, at the design presentation. And that was already five months ago. And now we're here at the rollout, and it's crazy to see all these people coming here to see us show these beautiful cars built by us as Corona student team Delft. Today is the mark of a great step almost the end of the assembly phase of our car and it's crazy to think that we're already here well we started most of us in september of last year and it's a, it's a crazy time today we're not only here with the dut 23 we're also here with two other cars the dut 21 built in because it's 2021 and the dut 22 because we're not only a team we're also an association so we want to show that we are together, we have a great group of alumni to support us every year that stay long after their car was built um, to help us all build these cars every year. Today, for the Dut 21, Diamond is gonna come and tell you guys about the car, um, about what they experienced in their year. It was a really hard year. It was at the end of the COVID-19 virus. They had to do all, some, all sorts of improvising, adapting, and it's just great to see their end product right here. It's also going to drive. It's going to do a nice demo for you guys today. And, and uh, Timon is going to talk about it. Then after that, we have the Dut22. So a presentation by Anton Deke, team manager of the Dut22 last year. Exactly a year ago, they presented this car at this exact place. But it was here in the middle. Today, it's on the left because their car wasn't quite finished last year, and we wanted to give them the opportunity to show it the way it was supposed to be after it has ran all its competitions uh, last summer. So also Anton for the Dead 22. Not only did they build one of the fastest cars to date, they also showed us how you could really be one united team. And that's really important these days. You want to be together, you want to stay together, and you want to do this together. After this, of course, what you all came for, the DUT23 rollout. We're going to have some words by our team manager, Joris Lanz. Um, and after that, together with our chief powertrain, Joop van Donk, they're going to present this car. And it's also going to drive a little bit for you guys. But before I do all of that, I want to tell a little bit about Formula Student, because I don't expect all of you to know about this competition. Some of you might just be walking in and saying, hey, there's cars on the mark. What's going on? So basically, Formula Student is a competition by students for students. Around 800 universities compete all over the world, and we're one of them. We race all over the world, but us as a team, we race in all of Europe. And during those competitions, you try to get as much out of the thousand point pool that is available to every team. That is split up in presentations showing the logic behind your car, the finances, showing a business plan, how would your team operate if it was an actual business, but also, of course, a lot of driving and fast driving as well. Before we start any of it, I want to do a short safety announcement because I kind of have to. These are electric cars. Uh, that means that there, come, there are some dangerous stuff going on. There's safety systems to help us for it. And also today, there are six very, very talented marshals around the track. Um, if anything goes wrong or doesn't happen, doesn't go the way we want it to, please listen to those marshals as the they'll give you instructions or I'll give you instructions through this microphone. But that's it for the series part. We're just going to enjoy it today. And now to tell you about the Dut21, Time of Lane. Time of Lane. Thank you all, thank you all. Um, it's so great to be here. Um, like time, uh, Stein said, my name is Timon Lane. Um, I was responsible for the car in the 21, uh, where I uh, was Ed responsible for the mechanical part of the car. So that's the suspension and the drivetrain, which basically consists of move, spinning the wheels and keeping the wheels on the car. 
Um, as our drivers now already set in, I will just tell a little bit about the 21. Um, we were approached to do this demonstration, which we were very much delighted to do because unfortunately we really couldn't do this at the market due to the COVID regulations. Um, and therefore for us, it's a great opportunity to finally show our car and see what she can do. Um, before I tell a little bit about our 21 year, uh, I have to talk about the 20 year. Um, unfortunately, they couldn't finish their car because of the harder COVID restrictions, which had an impact for us because we didn't have a latest reference car. We couldn't really see what did things worked, what didn't work, um, which put us in a very hard package. Um, and in that sense, we had to go ambitious. We tried to make the ambitious Dutch car that was ever built. Um, doing this by uh, upgrading our aero package heavily compared to other cars. Um, implementing a telemetry system, which basically means that you have uh, Wi-Fi on the car where you can change parameters and change different settings in the car. Um, and one of the biggest are self-developed motor controllers uh, or inverters um, that actually drive the car. Um, unfortunately, we didn't really get the results that we wanted at the competition, um, which is a shame, but it's also kind of part of the motorsport. We won some prizes like the Efficiency Award and a Battery Pool Party Award for the people know what that is. Um, but hey, that's motorsport. We couldn't really do much about it. Um, the only thing that we can do is help the new teams. And that's why we are standing here to support the new team. Um, we do that in technical meetings and management meetings and hope to see them win the competitions this year. Um, so now I would like to give our chief engineer, Larry van Laarhoven, the cue to start up the car. Unfortunately, the drivers of the 21 couldn't be here today because they're both abroad. Um, so this year we have Matthias van Beert in the, out, in the car. He's he has been a driver since 2013 until 2019. Um, and we tested the car with him uh, yesterday, so he knows what's up. And actually a fun, fun story about Matthias. Matthias has driven all cars since 2010 now. So that's in total now 12 cars. Um, and he hopes to get the, 13, uh, the 23 in that, uh, in that order as well. We have to wait a little bit. No. As the tensus rises. <laughs> Okay, we're set to go, so enjoy.
Wow, 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 wow. That was exciting. That was absolutely epic. Thank you so much, Matthias, for this amazing show. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we do, or at least uh, everybody but Larry, because he saw his car absolutely manhandled by Matthias. But it's great, great, great job. Matthias is not only a driver for our team, but after the team, he started a company, Marple, that are, is helping us immensely with data. So thank you, Matthias, for everything you do for the team. Some big applause. Thank you so much. Okay, and now we have tw dot 22 team principal or team manager, sounds cooler, and dot 22 Prashant, who's also part of this team, um, and they're going to be presenting the dot 22 in full competition spec for you guys, uh, as she was not ready to do that last year, but she's absolutely beautiful. Please welcome Anton and Prashant. Hi everyone, uh, thanks so much Stein and thanks so much for the DOT21 presentation. Uh, I stood here exactly a year ago to the day. Um, of course a year ago I was uh, part of the current team so I was wearing a long sleeved shirt and long pants so I was a hell of a lot more sweaty than I am today because I'm alumni, I can wear what I like. Um, of course when we did the, uh, the presentation last year, these cars often just to, just to get them running they, uh, they take a lot of prioritization of the resources just to sort out all of the, all of the electrics. And so we ended up with a semi-complete aero package. But um, anyone who's been in this team for long enough and anyone who's been anywhere near motorsport especially will know that cars, just like our personal development, is a never-ending progress. So uh, this, this car is... Uh, it's in the spec that it was in by the time it finished the last competition last year. But um, just as we have, a, we have a next year in our team, now the DUT23 is, uh, is on its way, bringing forward a huge amount of developments that have been figured out over two decades of the Formula Student Team Delft organization. They'll, there's a recurring theme that uh, that you'll hear Yaris speak more about today, which is this theme of uh, one united team. Um, these cars, as, as you just saw Maddie demonstrate, uh, they're extremely quick cars, they're also extremely safe cars, and uh, to get students who don't have any actual practical experience in the real world, and uh, fundamentally don't know what they're doing, to get them to learn enough in the short space of a year and taken all of the all of the knowledge that that's been built up over the past two decades, uh, requires not just an extremely high caliber of individual, which we're lucky enough to get plenty of here in Delft, both from the TU Delft and from in Holland, but it requires support, support not only from sponsors and from alumni, but support from the people standing next to you. You know, the sort of hours that some of the people in this team pull per week, uh, there'll be many this year who are doing 100 hour plus weeks, uh, many times. The kind of devotion that you need to do that, it's, it's, never, it's never a solely personal devotion and motivation. You stand next to the people next to you and you think, if I go home now, that guy's gonna be standing here all night to try and fix it by himself. So you, you stay that extra, that extra hour longer. And what you end up with is, uh, is cars that look this good and go this quickly. Now, of course, uh, last time I was speaking here, we had only just revealed our car. We had no idea truly of the potential that it had. Um, 
but we had well well made plans. We had a good um, uh, development plan uh, to know that we would be ready for the first competition, which is only in the second week of July. I believe it's the same time this year. Uh, but we knew that we had that we had the potential, at least, to do extremely well. Of course, no matter how well you've planned everything out, and no matter how well you've practiced, once the rubber meets the road, things go wrong. And this is where all of the team building that we had done throughout the year uh, really came into its own. Because on the last day at uh, Formula Student Netherlands, just about everything that we could possibly hope to go right went wrong on that day. And yet, because of all the hardships throughout the rest of the year and everything that, that had gone wrong that was far beyond our control, the team was accustomed to dealing with those scenarios, plus they trusted each other because they were one united team. And so I remember being on one of the walkie-talkies, literally running after the car and, uh, and running after all of the issues between a broken BSPD that suddenly has to get fixed, I mean running to the truck, soldering some stuff, and then moving over to scrutineering, to re-scrutineer, to try and make it in time for accelerator. It's, it's, it's a nightmare. There's loads of different events. It's not like a Formula One race where there's basically one big event at the end. There's a whole lot, and you need all of them, of course, to do well. So by about midday, despite it really looking unlikely that we, that we make the start of the endurance, which is worth a third of your of your 1,000 points, of course, the most important um, event at the competitions. Uh, we managed in the nick of time, thanks to the fact that our, our team members responded to the challenge correctly without bickering and wasting time and trusted each other. Uh, we made it not only to the start, but we made it to the finish of endurance. And we were one of two cars in a field of 31 that year uh, that were able to, to finish endurance by, by so early in the year. Um, and because of that, we managed a second place uh, at Formula Student Netherlands. That was the second place overall, of course, but um, uh, in total, we got something like seven podiums out of ten events uh, in order to, to achieve that second place. Of course, with this great start, we headed off to Formula Student Austria, for some more practice for the big event, which was Formula Student Germany. We got to Formula Student Germany, and uh, the car was showing such incredible pace that we actually got one of the, I think one of the best accolades that a team can get was one of the drivers from uh, one of the most successful other teams in, in Formula Student, Green Team Stuttgart. He actually sent out an Instagram post saying how confident they were about, uh, about their chances at Formula Student Germany until they saw our car on the test track. Uh, it was hustling, uh, smoking up some tires and, uh, and, and seriously showing everyone what, what it was capable of. So um, we had been doing well in the competition so far. We had won uh, acceleration. We had come second in the skid pad event and our statics were going well and the final day came for endurance. And uh, we went out onto the track and we set purple time after purple time, purple time for those of you who aren't car fanatics or, or watch Drive to Survive, it's, uh, it's for setting the fastest lap time of the day. Um, and then, as is, as is the, the cruelness and beauty of, uh, of motorsport on lap 15 of 18, the car ground to a halt, uh, thus bringing an end to the DUT 22 year. But of course, results are important. I don't want to neglect the fact that results do actually matter, but what matters far more is what you learn throughout the year. So uh, thank you very much to all the sponsors, all the parents, um. So the story of the 22 last year, a beast it was, and uh, we definitely see thi this one also becoming a beast. And um, now it's actually time for Dut 23. So I hope you're all excited. We're ma we made it. Um, and to tell you all about her, about our year so far, because it, it, it has been a one with ups and downs, to tell you all about it is our team manager, Joris Lanz. Well, hello and welcome everyone. Thank you all for, for coming out here today. And also to the 22 and the 21 for uh, showcasing their car and already giving a little chat. About 14 months ago, the first meeting about the 23 took place. 
And there we asked ourselves the question, so 23rd year, what do we want to do this year? What do we want to achieve? And what do we want to be as formula student in Delft? And the first thing you look, look at is, of course, your history. We've been building cars since 1999, with the, the, starting with the Dud one, combustion cars, until 2011, where we built the first electric vehicle in our history, the Dud 11. Switching to our infamous small tires, which you can see on all of these cars, in 2014 with the Dud 15, and switching to our own developed mode controllers in the Dud 21. We looked at all this history and a seed got planted within our, within our brains. We wanted to do the same thing as them. We wanted to do what the guys did before us, achieve greatness. We wanted to win the biggest and most prestigious comp uh, competition there is out of all of them. Formula Student Germany. And there we formed our team goal. To win FSG by driving one united team and a fast, well understood car to their full potential. Thank you. And there we started, just like every other team did. We got everyone together, we started learning our concept, and we started our design. But of course, there's also a whole lot different. We have a different team, different people, and of course, different problems and challenges we face. And throughout the year, we designed, we designed, we designed, and then we came to February. We could fir the first time we could show our design to our entire world during the design presentation. And from there on, we went on to produce everything, quality check everything, and then assemble it to the car that's in front of us here today. But this car and this team and this challenge doesn't come with its own challenges, inaccuracies, and difficulties. We've had our CNC breaking down in the mid midst of our aero production. We have had, uh, on the day that we started, uh, wanted to start the infusion of our negative molds, we heard that we couldn't. And the worst one of them all, about two weeks ago, our entire accumulator, the battery package of our car, burned down. But without all this hardship, we wouldn't be the team that's standing in front of you today. We wouldn't be the engineers that are standing in front of you today. And we wouldn't be able to build this car that is right here in front of us today. And with that har hardship, we also notice how much support we get from, from around us, from outside. So we want to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to build such a car and to, to go about such a challenge. We want to thank our alumni who give us the knowledge to achieve this and even parts. That's the reason why the 22 is not driving today as the, as the accumulator of the 22 is currently in the 23. We want to thank our family and friends because of course they see us working hard but they always stand beside us on the sideline, help us out and support us and, of course, the entire Formula student community. But that's not the end. We still have a long way to go, because this is just the feeling of the car. We still have an entire competition season ahead of us. But before that, we start testing. We're going to go out on a test track and keep on testing, 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 until we find the perfect parameters, the perfect performance, and the perfect settings for a car to achieve our goal. Then afterwards, we're going to go to Formula Student Netherlands and Formula Student Hungary. And then afterwards, we can shoot for the stars and go to achieve our goal of winning FSG by driving one united team and a fast, well-understood car to their full potential. Then I would now like to introduce Joop van Donk, who will, together with me, unveil our beauty, the Dut 23.
Wow, wow, wow. An absolute beauty of a car. Of course, not finished yet, but definitely she will be in a couple of weeks. But she already looks amazing without the arrow, in my opinion. Um, now, we're going to take a couple of moments to make her ready to drive. Leon Dibiach, one of our many team members, is going to drive her. Now I'm going to invite the guys to get her set up. And in just a couple of minutes, you'll see her go over the, over the square, just like any other car. Thank you. I think she's ready, guys. So one big applause for Leon Dibioch and the Dut 23. So guys, it's not finished yet. 
Of course, there's a lot of safety systems on this car. One of them is bots. It's when the brake pedal goes past a certain point, it just stops the car to be sure. And right now that happened. They're putting it back and she should be able, good to go. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you so much for Dimioch. Awesome drive. And again, I want to thank you all for coming out here. I know it's a, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, but it's quite hot. So uh, thank you for standing here in the sun with us.
Uh, right now we're going to take a short moment to rebuild some of the stuff and then you can come close to the cars, make some pictures if you'd like. But it's going to take like five, six minutes. So thank you guys so much for coming out. If you want to stay, stay. And if you think, yeah, it's done, then it's done. But I'd like to see you close to the cars. Thank you so much, guys. Ciao.